Welcome to Audio Advice's top picks for the best wireless over-ear headphones. This category of headphones has become extremely popular and there's a lot of great products on the market today. However, for this video, our team of experts spent countless hours testing our best sellers and personal favorites to narrow down to a succinct list of our top five favorites. If you're interested in purchasing any of the ones that made our list or any other audio or video gear, one of the best ways to support us and our YouTube channel is to buy from audioadvice.com where we offer free shipping, a price guarantee, and lifetime support. Now, let's get started. For each headphone, I'll discuss why it made our list and a few brief features that they offer. However, we have in-depth reviews for each pair that we'll link in the description if you want to learn more about a specific pair. Then I'll discuss what I heard when testing them on three different songs. Now, everyone has different tastes and hears things a little bit differently, so if you do get the chance to visit one of our showrooms, I highly encourage you to test them for yourself and see what you hear and like for yourself. Now I started with the track Instrumental by Black Country New Road. This is a really fun track with many dynamic sounds and will test your headphones overall balance. Now we're listening to see which instruments stand out more than others and if you can hear them all separately without sounding muddy. Next we'll listen to Lay Me Down by Crosby and Nash which is perfect for testing the mid-range quality due to its beautiful vocals and harmonies. We're listening for clear detailed vocals, not overtaken by the high or low frequencies. It's important that the low end is strong enough to support the mid-range to allow the vocals to sound full and realistic. Now we're also listening for how spacious and stable the harmonies are throughout the entire song. And finally, Bad Guy by Billie Eilish is undoubtedly one of the most fun songs to test on any pair of headphones. It has plenty of bass and some really well done vocals all around you. Her brother Phineas produces her songs and has a way of perfectly blending the low, high, and the whisper tones that she uses. We're listening for how well it handles the bass and her voice's overall immersion and separation. Also, who doesn't love a good bass drop at the end of the song? First, we have the Sony WH-1000XM5s, which outshined all of its competitors regarding active noise cancellation. The XM5s use eight microphones to read the ambient sound around you to dramatically reduce high frequency noise and put you in a world of silence to let you fall deeper into your tunes. The auto noise cancellation optimizer automatically adjusts your wearing conditions and external environment factors such as atmospheric pressure. With a newly redeveloped diaphragm design made with lightweight, rigid carbon fiber, the XM5s deliver a full range of frequencies up to 40 kilohertz for a more refined, well-rounded soundstage than the previous Sony XM4s. When listening to Instrumental by Black Country New Road, the XM5s performed admirably in reproducing the intricacies of the composition, maintaining a neutral and uncolored tonality throughout. The ability to discern each individual instrument amidst a complex and dense mix was truly impressive, and the overall balance of the headphones made for an enjoyable and engaging listening experience. On Lay Me Down, they did a great job producing clear vocals with a warm, full sound. The low end was a bit overpowering, and I found that adjusting it in the app made the harmonies in this song shine even more. If you love bass, these handled Bad Guy by Billie Eilish really easily while still producing Billie's voice clear and upfront. The noise cancelling detached me from the world, making the harmonies and whispers in the background more realistic. Now to learn more about the XM5s, watch our detailed review that we'll link in the description. The Bowers & Wilkins PX7S2 wins the best headphones for music under $500 category because of its superb sound quality that rivals its bigger brother, the PX8s. The S2's 40mm drivers are 10mm larger than the XM5s and they're built and tuned by the same engineers who crafted the famous Bowers & Wilkins 800 series diamond speakers used in Abbey Road Studios. They've gone as far as angling the drive units inside the ear cups to be perfectly aligned so the music can directly enter your ear canals undisturbed. This attention to detail isn't something you usually find in headphones in this price category, and we love that they use some trickle-down tech from some of their flagship products to develop the PX7S2s. We would still recommend the XM5s if you're looking for a headphone for the gym or you absolutely need the best noise cancelling possible. But if you want something more stylish with more premium materials and more musical sounding, the PX7S2s have the leg up. Now during instrumental, the bass immediately felt tighter and cleaner than the XM5s, which I 
expected with all the engineering Bowers and Wilkins put into these headphones for their music quality. Now the instruments were even easier to distinguish and they just had an effortless sound even when they all played simultaneously. On Lay Me Down, the track fully immersed me in a sonic landscape of pristine clarity and crisp vocal reproduction. As the first chorus commences, I was treated to a truly spatial experience with the vocals expertly separated and positioned, one seemingly closer and more intimate and the other slightly recessed and elevated, providing a truly mesmerizing listening experience. On Bad Guy, the bass was extremely fast and it actually felt like you were in a room with a subwoofer instead of wearing some headphones. This song was extremely immersive with the right pair of headphones and the PX7S2s did not disappoint. Now to learn more about these PX7S2s, we'll link our full review in the description below. Bowers & Wilkins PX8 is the new flagship headphone that offers a brand new drive unit technology from BMW. Plus, the engineers have doubled down on the use of premium materials for this model. From a user experience point of view, everything electronically about the design is the same as the PX7S2. But instead of using biocellulose diaphragms used in the PX7S2, PX8 features a 40 millimeter BMW driver with an ultra low distortion carbon fiber diaphragm. Additionally, BMW stepped up from a 15 millimeter voice coil in the PX7 S2s to a 20 millimeter voice coil based on their Captain Former, the same kind of voice coil former in their premium loudspeakers. These are positioned alongside updated magnets that reduce overall distortion in the PX8s for improvements in resolution and detail. Since carbon is extremely rigid, the diaphragm will remain stiff even up into the higher range of frequencies. This means that the stiffer carbon cone diaphragms can respond to transient attacks in a more pistonic manner as instruments and other nuances hiding in your music reach up into the higher frequencies. The result is less distortion across a wider range of frequencies with substantial improvements to the resolution of details hiding the top end extension, especially on music where many instruments are all playing simultaneously. Compared to the great performing PX7S2s, the accuracy and timing improvements were immediately apparent after testing the PX8s. Now go to 444 in instrumental where all the instruments are playing at once and a horn comes in to play a solo. The PX7S2 seem to do a great job until you experience the PX8s and how they can separate the horn solo from the rest of the instruments. The PX8s shine in the higher frequencies like that horn solo due to stiffer carbon cone drivers and it's very apparent in that song. On Lay Me Down, the vocals were presented in a pristine and lifelike manner with a warm and crisp tonality. Compared to the PX7S2s, the vocals were richer and had a more dynamic quality to them. Now, even during the most demanding passages of Bad Guy, such as the bass drops at the end of the track, the headphones never had the slightest hint of strain, instead conveying the music with an ease and effortlessness that was truly remarkable. Now, watch our review that we'll link in the description if you want to learn all more about the PX8s. Mark Levinson's number 5909s are a pair of durable, lightweight, closed back headphones that feature Mark Levinson's adaptive active noise canceling in almost every single feature you could ask for. As far as looks, the headphones have a modern and luxurious style that feature premium black leather on the ear pads and headbands with a black anodized aluminum construction throughout, giving it a strikingly premium appearance. Now, these are some of the most expensive on our list, but they're also the most luxurious on our list. With all the effort that they put into making these look great, you can tell that they're clearly for someone who likes to travel in style. The number 5909s had good bass reproduction that sounded natural across all frequencies. Now, Mark Levinson utilized the same engineers behind their world-renowned amplifiers, turntables, and streaming players when they were building these. Then they tuned the number 5909's custom drivers using the famous Harman curve to create a neutral sound across the entire frequency response. This is the same curve that we use when installing super high performance JBL synthesis theaters in homes. The result is a well-balanced soundstage that will let you hear your music with neutral reference quality sound and detail retrieval that is as close to what the artist intended. Now these are simply just some of the best wireless headphones that we've ever heard. Now during the song instrumental, the bass was fast, tight, and articulate. They delivered an effortless sound with a perfect soundstage that really immerses you. During Lay Me Down, the vocals were rich and enveloped by bass in this particular track, drawing me to the point of losing myself in the music entirely, so much so 
show that I momentarily forgot to analyze the headphones critically. Now finally, Bad Guy really revealed just how big and immersive the soundstage is in these headphones. It felt as if I was in a room with the music coming from all around me, rather than from drivers directed into my ears. Now to learn more about the number 5909s, watch the full review that we'll link in the description below. Focal has spent years refining their proprietary M-shaped dome driver technology, which is crafted in France using a blend of magnesium and aluminum that is featured in all of their high-end headphones. The Focal Batiz feature a new, lightweight version of this driver designed for portable use. The result is the same superior dynamic sound that delivers exceptional detail and the signature Focal warmth, making them ideal for extended listening sessions. These headphones are a true triple threat. They possess the most impressive sound quality of any portable headphones that we've had the pleasure of auditioning, capable of achieving near reference level audio when utilized in the USB DAC mode, akin to the Focal Clear MG, which retails at nearly three times the price. Additionally, they're versatile enough to be utilized in the office with multiple noise cancellation modes at your disposal. Now kudos to Focal for delivering a resounding success in their debut high performance wireless noise canceling headphones. Now my favorite headphone to listen to the song instrumental on was the Batiz. They sounded warm and smooth at the same time. The instruments were so well separated and these were the first headphones on this list that actually had me feeling like I could have been at a live concert with the band. Now compared to the natural sounding Mark Levinson's, the vocals felt much warmer and richer on the song Lay Me Down. Being able to plug them in and use the internal DAC brought the quality even higher and made them that much more enjoyable. Now for fun, I did do a blind listening test with all of the headphones on this list with the song Bad Guy by Billie Eilish and the Focal Batiz won first place because of their detailed sound quality. Now these headphones just sound phenomenal with any song that you throw at them. And they're truly the best sounding wireless over ear headphones that we've heard. To learn more about them, click the link and watch our full review on the Focal Batiz. I hope this list has helped you understand what each of these headphones has to offer and made it easier to determine which ones are right for you. You. Now, if you do have more questions, contact our team of experts by phone or chat with us at audioadvice.com and we'd be happy to help you out. Now, if you do get the chance to stop by one of our award-winning showrooms, give these headphones a spin and see what you hear for yourself. If you'd like to support us in reviewing more products like this, click the links in our description to purchase your next headphones or audio or video gear from audioadvice.com, where we offer free shipping, a price guarantee, and lifetime expert support. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest content. Now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.